So are cycle time charts confusing? Do you not know how to make them? So what if we made it simpler? So that's what we're going to do today. Let's talk about how simple making cycle time scatter plot charts can be. All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Dean Channer. This is What Would Dean Ask? Today we're going to talk about how easy it can be to make cycle time scatter plot charts. So let's pull up a simple chart here. So if this is our chart, so let's say that this is a week's worth of work for your team. So you want to simply plot it. So how would we do that? Well, like we've said on this channel before, knowing when you started an item and when you finished an item is key to being able to plot a ton of metrics. And that's what we've done here. So we've got about a week's worth of work, well, maybe two weeks worth of work, about 14 days worth of work here. So, and on the bottom left, you have the day it started. And on the bottom right, you have the day that it finished. So let's plot some of these. Let's plot A. So A, and, our, and we're going to plot it based off the day it finished and how long it took. So A finished on day one, started on day one, finished on day one, and it had one, so that means it had one day of cycle time. So cycle time here, the way we're defining cycle time, is the day it ended minus the day it started plus one because we want to take count for the, that final day of work. So remember, whenever you're doing cycle time, you want to add a day's worth of work. You want to add that day back in. So because in this case, if, you had, if we had just taken the start day and the end day, we would have had zero days. So it's we, we want to have at least one day worth of work. So let's plot B here. So B, B same thing. We can just plot it right on top of each other. C, finished on day three, right? And had, but it took two days. D, finished on day five, took three days. So I'll plot that one right there. E, so E finished on day five and took three days as well. Here comes F. F finished on F finished on day nine and took seven days. What happened here, F? We'll have to talk about F in just a second. I'm not really sure what happened to F. By the way, if anybody's playing at home, three minus one plus one is three. So C finished on day three. So then we have G finished on day 11. And also had seven cycle time. Let's get F lined up here with G. H finished on day 11. With another seven cycle time. How about nine here? Or excuse me, I. I finished... Here on day 13 with five. And then last but not least, we'll plot J. So that's is simple. That's, that's how simple it is to do a cycle time scatter plot. So now what we have, so let's, is we've got these plotted. So let's. Let's make it even easier to see, make it look actually like a, sc a scatter plot. So we'll put some dots on here. How about that? Now it looks like a scatter plot, right? Look at this. Okay. So what we're seeing here is when the item's finished, so you can kind of see the flow, but more importantly, you're seeing how long the items. So whether you're a Kanban team, whether you're a scrum team, some sort of XP team, Agile team, right? Anybody can use this to show how long work took to finish. So looking at this chart, I can see a couple of things. 
I first of all, I can see somewhere around between day eight and eleven, we had a problem, right? Because we were prior to that, something got stuck. Was there an impediment? Was there a team member sick? I don't know. But something definitely got stuck. And eventually we got it done. So in our next retrospective, we're definitely going to want to talk about this. We want to talk about why these items took so long. And how do we keep that from happening? Now notice I didn't say how do we reduce the, the cycle time next time. We just want to know for items that took long, how do we keep that from happening again? Was there a dependency that wasn't met? Did we forget to account for a holiday? What happened, right? The other thing that I can see here is about 85% of the time, 70, 80% of the time, I finished, I finished items in five days or less. So the next time I start an item, I know that I should be able to finish that item in about five days or less. So one of the things that hopefully we were doing as we got up here in the six, seven days is, it, is that we were asking then, what's going on? What's the problem? How can I help? So easy, easy to make a scatter, scatter, cycle time scatter plot. Um, I know it seems daunting, but it's actually pretty easy to make. And you can do this in Excel. You can do this in Easy BI. You can uh, do this in Power BI. Uh, you could do this on the wall like I've done with stickies. Um, all you have to do is make sure you understand when the item started, when the item finished, calculate your cycle time. Remember, we're calculating cycle time is the end day minus the start day plus one day. And then just plot the item on the day it finished based off of how long it took for it to finish. And then you will have your cycle time scatter plot. So I hope you like this video. If you do, uh, hit like. Um, also, don't forget to hit subscribe on there. And uh, we'll also link some other videos such as Throughput for Dummies in the comments below on this series that we've been doing on Metrics for Dummies. Thanks.